For Mac users interested in installing the Black Belt ribbon, the steps are as simple as they are for PCs, more or less. Macs are a little bit trickier with uh, finding things in Microsoft products, but I'll show you how to get through this. First of all, 100% you've got to watch the videos on the Black Belt um, website. That is the one I'm showing right now. It is www.blackbelt-apps.com. In the middle of the main page of the site, you'll find the download, you'll find what it looks like, you'll find a video, you'll find screen captures about unblocking prior to adding the process. Add-ins are not Excel files. They've got to be added into Excel. So you can't open them directly. And you'll know that having watched the video, having looked at the screen captures, there's another video here, video on unblocking and setting up add-ins as trusted. So if you're brand new to add-ins and you've never tried to add in an add-in to Excel on a Mac or on a PC, you need to look at these shared materials. But I'll walk through the process. Let's say that I've downloaded the file. The file is available again here or otherwise. Um, as an add-in, you download it onto your desktop. And I've done that already. I've, I've already downloaded the add-in. Here it is, I have some other add-ins as well, but this is the add-in that I've downloaded. And now all I have to do on a Mac is find where to add that in. Again, I can't open it directly. I've got to have Excel open and I have to go to tools, Excel add-ins. And now I'm gonna click on that and browse for the add-in I've, I've included in the past. Let's say that I, I wanna remove it. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. And there are a couple of missing libraries on Macs that sometimes create problems, but um, there I've removed the add-in. I'm gonna go through the tool process, Excel add-ins. Again, this is a toolbar that is on your Mac outside of the toolbars within the Excel ribbon structure because Macs are crazy in that, uh, in that sense. Uh, if I have just recently downloaded the file, I'm going to go to Browse, and I'll find the add-in on my desktop. I'm going to I'm going to hit the Open button. I'm not actually opening it as a file. File name is already well. That's because I've already added it. You won't get this message, but I'm going to hit Yes. Now I'll notice the black belt ribbon is checked on. I'll hit OK. I might get a warning about certain libraries not being available. So Microsoft Visual Basic, but that's a Mac issue. That's okay. I'm just gonna look for things that say missing and I'll unclick anything missing because, hey, they're missing. So I shouldn't try to be uh, referencing those items. I'll hit okay. And now the black belt ribbon will appear and the various tools associated with black belt ribbon will appear. Functions like the recent added uh, term count or term frequency uh, are gonna be available. There's the Winters formula. Notice that these are user-defined functions. These are a set of uh, functions among the others that are available on the PDF that are unique to the add-in, not native to Excel. Native Excel functions are in caps. I'm not gonna use a function right now, but I could try using, for example, the heat mapper resource, which allows me to map a uh, area uh, with uh, graphical capabilities and interactivity. Uh, I'm going to disable touch capabilities at this point, create the mapping. Let's see what I get. I should be able to pull those objects from the internet and have my spreadsheet form that structure. And it does, uh, everything seems to be functioning. Uh, again, I, I've unclicked those missing elements. So there may be a couple of places in the in the pretty vast ribbon that uh, don't quite work the same way as they would on a PC, but I, I it's going to be a, a maybe a couple percent. So, all right, that's my overview. I hope this helps.